Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog how to sit. So before you begin, you need three things. You need treats, and I have a bucket of treats right here, a clicker, and your dog. This is Stella. Okay, so before you even start teaching your dog anything, the reason why you want a clicker is because this really pinpoints for your dog what you're trying to teach them. So if you're trying to teach them to sit, you would click the, click the clicker right when they sit to tell them that they did something right, and then they'll get a treat soon after. You will do that beforehand in other training sessions, so we're not going to do that today. So she already knows that. Um, so another thing you have to know before you start teaching your dog anything is that the first way that they learn is through, or the first thing that they notice is body gestures and hand gestures. So they're going to learn more things through your body movements and the way that you move before they learn something like how you say it. So if you're just saying words to them, they're not going to know what it means. They're going to learn better if you show them like a hand gesture first. Okay, so when you begin, you're going to hold your treat in your hand like this. Okay, so Stella knows what this means but this basically lets her know that there is a treat in there and that she can't have the treat. Stop being so good. <laughs> until, that she, until she does the right um, thing that I want her to do, which is to sit. So I'm just simply gonna hold my hand. If she jumps up, I'm not gonna let her have it until she sits down. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna give her her treat. So that lets her know that she sat, she heard her click, and then she gets her treat, okay? Eventually, you want to fade out the treat to where it's just you holding up your hand and then you say sit and then she'll sit. But for the sake of teaching, we'll do that again. So she can kind of sniff my hand, know there's a treat in there. Good girl. And you can say words of praise such as good girl or good job to let her know too, along with the click that she did something good. Let's do it one more time. Sniff it. Good girl. Okay, so now she kind of gets the gist that when my hand's like this, I'm going to pair the word sit with it as well. So come here. Okay, sit. Good girl. So be sure that you're clicking right after she does the correct movement so that she knows that her sitting rather than her jumping is what I'm looking for. If I clicked right when she jumped up, then that would be teaching her that I want her to jump instead of sit. Bless you. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Same thing, and I'm going to say sit along with it. Sit. Good girl. Good job. Okay, one more time. Come here. Sit. Okay, so now we've really gotten down, um, she's really gotten down the sit with a clicker and with a hand gesture. Now we're gonna take away the clicker. Okay, Stella, come here. Sit. Good job. Good girl. And I'm just reinforcing her with the treat now. I also um, took away the treat, so now it's just a hand gesture. She no longer has to smell it in my hand, she just knows that, that I'm asking her to sit. Okay, so let's do it one more time with a hand gesture. Sit. Good girl. Here you go. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, and so now this time she's doing pretty well. If your dog keeps doing really well like she is, where she's doing it well with the hand gesture and without the clicker and the treat in your hand, then you can move on to just using a verbal and see how she does, okay? Come here, touch, touch. Okay. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so let's see. All right, so 
Basically, that's how you teach your dog how to sit. You first start with a clicker, then you really use hand gestures and you're holding it in your hand, and then you wanna fade all those components out into where you're just using a verbal. So that's how you train your dog.